Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Learning Path. In this video, I'm going to explain how to work out a problem under standard costing and variance analysis. In the previous video, I explained about the formulas applicable for material variance. So just refer the previous video standard costing and variance analysis for the application of formulas to calculate the material variances. So let me discuss about the problem under material variances. The problem here, it is estimated that in the manufacture of a product, for each ton of materials consumed 100 articles should be produced. The standard price per ton of material was rupees 10. During the first week of January, 100 tons of materials were issued to the production department. The purchase price, which was rupees 10.50 per ton, the actual output of the period was 10,250 units. The question is, calculate material variances so how we are going to work out this problem to calculate the material price variance so just check out the solution we need to check out the problem whenever the question is calculate material variance whether the standard quantity is given for the output so look at the problem we don't have the standard quantity for the actual output the actual output as for this problem was 10,250 units. So we don't have the information about the standard quantity. So we need to calculate for the standard quantity for 10,250 units. So again, look at the problem. What is the information available? The standard price is given for the material is rupees 10 per ton. During the first week of January, 100 tons of material were issued to the production departments. The purchase price, which was 10.50 per ton. So we are going to make use of this information to work out the standard quantity. For 100 units, we are going to use one tons of material means for 10,250 units, how many tons of materials is required as a standard quantity. So have a cross multiplication, 10,250 into one divided by 100, you will get 102.5 tons of material we needed and look at the problem the standard price of material also is given that was rupees 10 so again i'm telling 100 tons of material we needed for one ton of material output so 10250 units means what is the standard quantity for 10250 units so we are going to have the cross multiplication to calculate the standard price of material that was rupees 10 per ton. So this is the information. Uh, so we calculated the standard quantity of 10,250 units that came as 102.5 and standard price of material is given the problem itself. So we have all the information readily to apply the formula to calculate the material price variance and this is all about the standard information what is the standard price and what is the standard quantity for the actual output again i'm repeating we need the information about the standard price as well as standard quantity for the actual output what is the standard quantity for the actual output 102.5 tons we calculated this only we have the information as the standard quantity for the actual output. So we have the standard price as well as the standard quantity. Now let me check out the information regarding the actual. So what is the material issued, 100 tons? Actual output is 10,250 tons. Actual price of material is 10,000, uh, sorry, actual output is 10,250 tons. Actual price of material is 10.5 per ton. So let me check out the calculation, how to calculate the material variances. The formula here it is standard price into standard quantity of material for actual output minus actual price into actual quantity of material. The short way of the formula to keep remember in your mind always SP into SQ minus AP into AQ. So work out as per this formula, we'll get the answer that is negative answer. The actual 
is more than your standard means. That means 1025 minus 1050, you are getting a negative answer. That shows adverse situation. That is material variance, cost variance showing adverse situation for the company. So next is how to calculate the material price variance because the question asks to calculate the material variances. The question asks us to calculate the material variances means we need to work out material price variance as well as material cost variance and quantity variance. So these three answers we need to calculate whenever the question is asking about calculate the material variance. So we finish material cost variance. Metal cost variance is always the combination of price variance and quantity variance. So let me check out at last how we'll have this form. Material uh, cost variance is the combination of price as well as quantity variance. So uh, we'll calculate now metal price variance. Metal price variance formula is actual quantity into within the brackets. The formula is standard price minus actual price. So what is the actual quantity? 100. And then what is the standard price? 10. And actual price is 10.5. So we are getting again the negative answer. Uh, that is uh, 50 adverse. Okay. Because 10 minus 10.5 minus 0.5. So minus 0.5 into 100 will get 50 as adverse. Negative answer. Next, we'll calculate the material quantity variance by applying this formula standard price into standard quantity for actual output minus actual quantity used. So SP, within the brackets you have the quantity because it's a quantity variance. So we need to specify the quantity by comparing with the standard price. So how to calculate means standard price is 10 and the standard quantity we made use 102.5 and actual quantity is 100. So again, we are getting a negative, uh, that is a positive answer, 25. So I said already the material cost variance is the summation of price variance and quantity variance. Let me check out in the next slide how we work it out that the verification is here. Cost variance, material cost variance is equal to the summation of price variance and quantity variance. So cost variance we calculated here as 25 adverse. So and price variance we calculate as 50 adverse and quantity variance we calculate as 25 favorable. This is in plus sign, this is in minus sign because it is adverse situation. So this is more, minus 50 plus 25 means what is your answer? 25 adverse. So here we add a verification that cost variance is the summation of price variance and quantity variance. So this is the verification. And in this way also we can verify whether our answers are correct or we will go through this formula also. The formula is SP into SQ minus AP into AQ. Already I discussed in the previous video how to calculate the cost variance, material cost variance. And by applying in this formula also, we'll get the same answer. So this is the way how we can calculate material price variance by applying the formula. Through this video, I think you will understood how to calculate the material variances. And then the next videos, I will teach more problems in the material variances. Thanks for watching. See you again in next video. Uh, please subscribe, share and comment below. Thanks for watching this video. Stay home, stay safe.